City desk. Now, this is Joe Allen speaking. Put me onto a telephone recorder. Go ahead, Joe. One of the worst fires in the city's history is still raging out of control. The known casualties are 125 to date, with 12 dead. And there may be more. Hey, that's an exciting story, Joe. Yes, yeah, so am I glad it's over. I've had four hours sleep on four nights. But the papers just put in telephone recording machines. Telephone recording? That's a new wrinkle. How's it working out? Can't miss. Telephone recording is insurance against mistakes. Even though you talk fast, you know the guy at the other end has all the facts. There's a record there of what you said, just the way you said it. In a few minutes, the typist makes a transcription. Gives the rewrite man a clean type copy, word for word. When you're handling technical stuff, telephone recording's a real blessing. Simple, isn't it? Then we know we've got it right. That makes everybody happy. <laughs> Sounds like a great thing for you, fellas. I should think businessmen like you would need them. No, Joe. Your business is one thing, mine's another. You see, I wouldn't have any use for telephone recording. No, Mr. Baker? Let's see about that when you get back to the office. Anything else, Miss Seeley? Mr. Glenn called while you were out. That's funny. I thought he was on his way to Denver. He said his plane was grounded in Chicago. I took the message. Thank you. Well, this couldn't be right. Is that all he had to say? Newton? Who's Newton? Did Mr. Glenn say where he could be reached? He was in such a hurry, Mr. Baker, and he talked so fast. And I'd just come back from lunch myself. I was all out of breath. All right, all right. But you should have been able to see that this was important. Miss Seeley, didn't you get the firm name? Well, it, it was something like Acme. No, that wasn't it. But, Mr. Baker, I thought you'd know. Oh, all right, Miss Seeley. I'll call you in a few minutes. Thank you. Too bad, Mr. Baker, that you and everyone else of sufficient executive rank and experience were out. Too bad you can't reach Glynn for a few days. I think we can make this, but didn't Ward specify the color? Color? Why, green. Uh, green for all except the St. Louis lot. Uh, no, uh, they're green, too. He wanted some blue. I'll have to call him back. Get me Ward of Ward Jones. Hey, Bob, uh, Jim Summers just called. How come that only half of his were... Yes? Go ahead, I'll see you in a minute. Well, uh, have him call me back as soon as he, uh, as soon as he comes in. Yes. Uh, Baker. No, no. Ed Baker. Mr. Ed Baker. Yes. Thank you. Telephone recording wouldn't be any use in your business, Mr. Baker? Wouldn't it be a lot easier? It would give your telephone a memory. You'd save time and embarrassment. You could concentrate on the gist of your conversations and still be sure of getting all the facts and figures right. Suppose everything Mr. Glynn said, and Mr. Summers, and Mr. Ward, and everything that you said to them had been recorded. Hello, Mr. Ward. Baker? Yes. How are you? Say, I've got an urgent order for you. We want eight dozen of your new model first thing next week. That's an awfully short time, Mr. Ward. Uh, we'll have to get busy immediately. That's right. And they've got to go to several of our offices. Yes, if these important conversations had been recorded, you'd have them right there on your desk, ready to be played back word for word. And transcribed. By now, there'd be accurate type copies in the hands of everyone concerned. Isn't this easier, faster, surer? Isn't telephone recording more businesslike? Telephone recording is not a newfangled idea. The first machines for that specific purpose were developed by Dictaphone Corporation in the 1920s for a large utility company's use in power dispatching. In recent years, the need for telephone recording has become increasingly apparent, and the development of equipment for that purpose has been accelerated. Engineered into the present models are the latest discoveries in electronic science, and they have been thoroughly field tested. The new Dictaphone telephone recorders 
are the sum of a long series of achievements in the field of voice recording for business use. The field in which Dictaphone Corporation has specialized and led for over half a century. If Charlie were to use electronic recording for a while, he'd wonder how he ever got along without it. It makes the telephone an even more practical, fast, accurate, and convenient way of handling business. No more fumbling around with notes or being dependent on shorthand notes which a secretary took down while listening in. Telephone recording provides a permanent record of all important phone conversations and makes these verbatim accounts available to associates of one or both of the participants for information and action. It simplifies the transmission and reception of highly detailed data or instructions and eliminates errors of interpretation. It's a modern business tool.